22 is focused on a battle between Achilles and Hector. Achilles is upset at Hector's triumph over Patroclus, which leads him to want revenge. Hector talks to his mother and father, who tell him that they want him to stay safe inside the walls. Hector is ignorant to his parents' directions and is determined to go in the battle with Achilles. Once Hector arrives to where Achilles is, he loses all his nerve and starts to run as Achilles chases him all over Priam. Zeus sees the situation at hand and feels the need to intervene. Zeus also feels that one of the men has to die. Zeus places Achilles and Hector's fates on a scale and sends them to Athena to balance the scales. After this, Athena tells Achilles that they will destroy Hector. She tells Zeus to rest while she goes out and deceives him. As part of the plan, Athena comes to Hector in the form of his brother, Diphobus. In this form, she persuades him to go on and battle Achilles instead of constantly running around. Hector listens to her and stops running to turn and face his opponent. Hector and Achilles exchange spear throws, but neither scores a hit. Hector turns to Diphobus to ask him, but he sees that his so-called friend is gone and comes to the realization that the gods have betrayed him. This leads Hector to believe that his death is near. Therefore, Hector decides to charge Achilles. Achilles drives the spear into Hector's neck where the armor was weak. Hector pleads for Achilles to take his body to the Trojans so that he could die an honorable death. Achilles laughs at Hector before he dies and then drags his body using his chariot back to Priam. The news spread and Hector's mother and father mourn over Hector's death. Later on, his wife hears the news of her husband's death and states, There is no need for the stores of fine clothing. They are fit only to burn. Book 22, page 547, line 201. Unbearable, a man I love, haunted round his own city walls. And right before my eyes, my heart gives grievance for Hector. Hector, who burned so many oxen in my honor. Rich cuts, now on the rugged crest of idea. Now on Elam's heights, but now look, brilliant Achilles. Courses him round of the city of Priam and all his savage. Lethal speed. This quote um, really talks about, is like pathos. Because it's evoking pity and emotion as he talks about his grievances for Hector. Book 22, page 544, lines 112 to 117. As a snake in the hills guarding his hole awaits a man, bloated with poison, deadly hatred seething inside him, glances flashing fire as he coils around his lair. Uh, this quote really shows the imagery as you like imagine how Hector is awaiting the appearance of Achilles. Um, book 22, page 550, lines 307 to 315. A swift, dark glance, and the headstrong runner answered, Hector, stop, you unforgivable, you, don't talk to me of packs. There are no binding oaths between men and lions. Wolves and lambs can enjoy no meeting of the minds. They are all bent on hating each other to the death. So with you and me, no love between us, no truce till one or the other falls and gluts with blood. Ares who hacks at men behind his rawhide shield. Um, this quote is an example of like a tragic hero because it shows human flaws such as greed and fear and jealousy. And this quote is before the war started and Hector pleads to make a pact of the body of whoever loses, but Achilles doesn't listen. Book 22, page 533, lines 419 to 424. I know you well. I see my fate before me. Never a chance that I could win you over. Iron inside your chest, that heart of yours. But now, beware, or my curse will draw God's wrath upon your head. That day when Paris and Lord Apollo, for all your fighting heart, destroy you at the Sakian gate. Uh, this quote shows, like, the epic hero, um, because he's learning something after his journey, and he just battled his most difficult opponent, and he's a strong warrior, and he holds a position of power, um, and this quote is just, like, Hector in his last moments, proclaiming the foreshadowing of Achilles' death. Um, book 22, page 551. Lines 349 to 358. 
My time has come. At last, the gods have called me down to death. I thought he was at my side, the hero Dyphus. He's safe inside the walls. Athena tricked me blind. And now death, grim death, is looming up beside me. No longer far away. No way to escape it now. This was the pleasure after all. Sealed long ago. Zeus and the son of Zeus. The distant, deadly archer. Though often before, now, they rush to my defense. Uh, this quote is really thematic because it talks about the supernatural beings and gods. Like when he's Hector's talking about the gods have called him to death and Athena tricked him blind and Zeus and the son of Zeus. Um, so it shows how they believe in supernatural beings. <laughs> Hector was the greatest warrior in all of Troy. He was the son of King Priam. He commanded the Trojan army. He and Achilles fought and he died, but fought a good battle. Good evening, class. Um, Achilles was the greatest warrior in all of Greece and the world. He led an army into Troy without Agamemnon. He was a stubborn and stuck up, but good at fighting. His best friend was Patroclus. He is the son of the sea goddess Thetis. Yeah. <laughs>